Uh, and Tom, you have the next question. Uh, you said that you're tired of special interest groups influencing politics. To what groups are you referring and how would you propose to de decrease their influence? If I continually emphasize, and the commissioners, uh, there is a board of commissioners, and there are three commissioners that hold those offices. Two of them are Republicans, one of them is a Democrat. I am the Democrat on that group. Uh, in county government, we have a large Whoa. group. Oh! Whoa! I am you said on your own independent. Excuse me. Oh, Hold up, Hold up. Hold up. Let me finish answering the question. Go ahead, Tom. There are two Republicans. I was formerly a Democrat and was elected as a Democrat to that board. And I have disaffiliated from the Democratic Party. I am the odd person out in this group of commissioners. I mean, that's true. What we continue to emphasize with our work, and we have been extremely successful in everything that we have done in county government. Uh, when we came into office, county government was in shambles. Uh, the reputation of government was in shambles. The GL was closing and so forth. Everything we have done has been done on a non-partisan basis. And again, that is the basis in which we cross political lines whether a Democrat and two Republicans or whether an Independent and two Republicans, and we get the job done in order to do that. We do not pay any heed or attention to any special interest. Every job, every position that we fill, and we have hired seven department heads since I've been there, have been done by open competition with 50 to 100 applicants, uh, a winnowing down and interview system, and in no case has anyone ever been hired for either uh, being a political crony to someone or uh, associated with any kind of a special interest group and or with regard to political party. This is how we run county government. We believe that we've been successful in doing it, and I believe that this is necessary to bring to the city of Canton. Okay, thank you, Mr. Burnaby. Mayor, you have a chance. Thank you. Like I said, first option, Tom, here is raising taxes. That's how we solve the problems at the county. That's how we solve the problems at Sardin. Now he wants to bring that to Canton to raise taxes to solve our problems. You know what, we've been doing it without the taxes, without raising taxes, because we've been running a lean budget, and we understand that the people in our city are some of the most challenged when it comes to finances. We've got a large portion of our population that are senior citizens that are on fixed income. We have to be respectful of that before we start talking taxes. We've got a large, large population that's low to moderate income or are living below the poverty level. We've got to take that into consideration when we make decisions. And so sometimes, you know, running a lean government is, is better than raising taxes so we can do all the things that uh, are on that list. Uh, we do run good government in the city of Canton, and we propose good government, we post all our bids online, we post all our bid boards online, and we cater to those who actually can provide the best services at the lowest cost. The other thing we do is we promote local labor and local businesses at every opportunity. And I think that's critically important to keep our tax dollars in our city supporting our local workers.